When did Andrew start um, playing music? We started at an early age introducing him to a lot of musical genres and he was in kinder music and things like that and um, there's a funny story um, when he was old enough to start repeating the sounds of animals like what does a cow say and Andrew would go moo yeah or and like what does a cat say meow and then we would get down the list and then we would say well what does a wolf say Andrew and he would go into the whole sound of um, of um, Peter and the Wolf. That's right. Remember that? Yes. Which, you still remember it? It was like, bum, 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 bum. Yeah. It's, something like that. Yeah. I knew it better back then. But, but. And then, of course, we had piano lessons, and then we had violin lessons, and then we had more piano lessons, and, um, and then we had him, um, he used to sit in with the band that I played with at the time. So I had a lot of exposure to um, old-time string band music. I actually uh, I started singing with my dad's band um, when I was like six, I think. So um, yeah, I would sing, and these were usually like pretty country, pretty uh, pretty uh, old-timey songs. These weren't like ABCs or anything. They were pretty pretty adult, actually. So. Um, I started out learning to sing, uh, sing bluegrass and stuff like that. Um, my voice since then is not nearly as pure and angelic as it was back then. But um, yeah, so singing was my first experience uh, with playing with my dad here. And well, um, according to your mom, I, I sort of perverted your musical style. Her family is very much classically oriented. They listen to opera and classical music, and so I taught him all the songs to the, um, the movie, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? And we, we got through the, almost the entire song list, and then um, one day uh, we went to a festival, and I asked the festival guy, the guy that was running the show, if we could, if we could perform, and he let us perform, and so that launched Andrew into his, his, first, um, his first gig, and he even got a standing ovation. I think music is more rewarding when you're playing with others, and in my case, playing with my dad and friends and stuff, than when you're just playing by yourself. Um, when I was a kid, I, I of course had like piano recitals and stuff, and I hated playing by myself. That was what led me to uh, the violin, which you know you get to play in an orchestra, and I found that really appealing. And that's where I found my most joy, was uh, getting to play with others, getting to play with my dad, getting to play with his band, um, getting to enjoy music as a group, as a collective uh, group of people versus just uh, solo, being by yourself. And so, in my opinion, the most uh, impactful part of music is getting it to enjoy it with others and being in the company of musicians who enjoy playing music like you do. So. I, you know, I think any time you play music with good musicians, it's a lot of fun. But then when that other person you're playing with happens to be your kid, it just takes it to a whole different level. It's just so much more meaningful. And so um, when we when we used to play together, it was fantastic. You know, I always wanted to have enough kids to have a bluegrass band because I suspect it'd be a lot of fun. And, um, so far we only have one kid, and I guess that's all we're going to have, but um, but just that one person that I'm playing with when I'm playing with Andrew is really special, so I enjoy it. I think the thing about music is we both are approaching music from different levels, different uh, degrees of understanding. So Andrew is classically trained, so he hears music a certain way, and I'm self-taught, and I'm, you know, I'm coming from you know, the home style, the stuff that I've kind of learned by hook or crook. And so it's interesting that we can blend our music together at all because our styles are so different. But when, when we connect, it really is, is beautiful when that happens. The funnest time we ever had with music was when Andrew was about six or seven. Um, we were in a talent show 
And so we decided to do the, the Foggy Bottom Boys from uh, the, the Old Brother Where Art Thou movie. And so Andrew and um, a couple of his friends uh, dressed up like old timers with beards. I was, and I was six at the time, so this is not, not entirely uh, voluntary. Just kind of he was conscripted, and so were these other kids, and they, uh, they kicked and screamed the whole way. But they finally got it, and we got on stage. And it was, we were like the best, the best group all night Best long. of the worst. We were, yeah, we were the best of the worst. It was an anti-talent show, actually. Yeah. But we were, it was a non-talent talent show, but we had the most talent there. Yeah. So in, in a sense, we lost. Actually. Yeah. We had too much talent to win. Yeah. That was a problem. But we got an ovation, didn't we? Which is bad. It was standing ovation because there were no seats there. 